Welcome to the shop. Today we're building this monstrosity. <laughs> Are you ready? Here we go. Welcome back. So after part one of the 1x30 back to basics builds, I figured use a jigsaw to cut out the wood and all that good stuff. I've got most of that video done and then I bought a jigsaw. I was going to put it in a vise and I was like, man, why don't I just build a table for it? Then I can cut G10, all that good stuff. I've got my bandsaw that I use for everything, but man, I go through so many blades that it'd be nice to cut out something like this. So let's just get with the build. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, all that good stuff. Leave comments, let me know what you think about this crazy build, because, uh, yeah, it's definitely out there. All right, I'll put my website link up in the cards and all that good stuff, but let's just get right to it. I don't know what's coming first, the 1x30 build or this build, but I decided I do all my cutting on my bandsaw. That's carbon fiber, G10, my steel, all that. And I burned through so many of these blades, and these blades are pretty expensive. Since I'm doing the 1x30 build, I figured I'd get a jigsaw. Now, normal people usually cut stuff like this with them, but I want it upside down with a table on it. My old jigsaw, you could turn it around, but that's from the 80s. This one has a wheel on it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a table for it. And I got all this scrap steel for it. We'll just have to weld it all together and see where we go. First thing I gotta do is See what happens when I take this off. <laughs> Nothing better than buying a brand new tool and taking it apart right when you get it. <laughs> Reminds me of when I was a kid. <laughs> I got that on camera. That was a sweet catch. <laughs> yeah, man. Old dog can do new tricks. <laughs> Might have to slow mo that if it came out nice. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I see. So that's actually to be able to. Ah, well, looky there. <laughs> they think they had me. There we go. <laughs> All right. I wonder if I'm going to have to make a shim. Oh uh, no, that's plush. Okay, good. We still might need to make some shims. We'll see. It's these screws that I'm worried about. Let's start with this. I'm going to want the front up more than I want the back. Let me see if I can get a clamp on that. I can drill these out. <laughs> Clamp fest. <laughs> Once again, I do everything backwards. <laughs> that way you guys know how to do it the right way, right? <laughs> there we go. All right. Where's my... There's a snake it would have bit me. <laughs> I didn't think it was making a mark, that's why I had to check. I just kept seeing gray. I'm not gonna put these on the drill press. So I test fitted it and we're going to have to cut that out. 
Now, my first thought was, oh, well, you got a jigsaw. Just cut it out with a jigsaw. Yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> it would almost work, but trying to get that would just, uh, so I'm just gonna clamp it and bust out the Dremel. After I plug it in. <laughs> patience for a Dremel. <laughs> Good lord. That's why I never use that thing. Boom! Just like that. <laughs> What's it saying? It's the first one that's always the hardest. <laughs> Once again, the bench is a complete mess. <laughs> All right. I mean, the two hold it good, but these back ones, oh, uh, I see what it is. It's this round part right here. We're gonna have to cut around that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Always something, huh? <laughs> Since I showed cutting this part out, I'm just going to do the same here. I just got to mark it, figure it out, and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> that was it. See, that one sticks up. Yeah, I got to figure out what I'm going to do about these. Because I got to countersink them. I might have to take a piece and weld this, them together under it. Just to uh, countersink this or something. We'll see. But it's dinner time. <laughs> Woo, look what I had to do. I had to get a big clamp and a C clamp and all that. I just cut this straight out. So I'm gonna go put a weld here and a weld just tack it to make sure it fits. I've even got my shoes on, uh, which I barely ever wear shoes. Even though last time I welded, a big old hot spark went right in my shoe and burned my foot. So every time I wear shoes, I get hurt. So let's hope it doesn't happen this time. I'm gonna have to figure out some mounts because I don't have mounts over there for when I weld everything else up. So I'll just, I'll be back. Now I know they ain't pretty and I gotta go countersink these holes. So let's see what these screws are. I'm gonna go countersink them and then uh, I'll be back. Yeah, I had to countersink all the way through the top layer, but we're good to go. This doesn't even look too bad, but it'll be hidden by uh, the table. <laughs> Cause it'll always be like this. A little bit of wire wheel. But I felt like cleaning it up. <laughs> All right, I'm calling it tonight. I'm gonna figure out some mounts so I can get some welding uh, shown. My bad welding, that is. <laughs> All right. I had a crazy idea. The edges are all flush. So uh, we'll make this flush and see how it works. I cut some of them long and as long as we get down to this one, we should be all right. In theory. <laughs> Ah, they moved. Let me tap them all up. See, I can swing a hammer. <laughs> I probably did it all off camera though. <laughs> we'll see. Let's see if this works. <laughs> we just take it a little bit at a time and yeah man. <laughs> Ha ha ha! 
Boom. All right, let me take these apart and then we'll do them all separate. I just need to uh, figure out which sides I'm gonna weld and then clean on the insides, you know, so we can get a good weld. Let's do these one at a time. Let's see. We'll do outside and inside, just like that. Yeah, inside. Nah. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm gonna do tops and bottoms because I want to put a plate on the bottom, you know, to clamp it to the bench. Let's take this off and see if we have better luck. <laughs> I realized, hang the belt over to one side, do the ones you can, all four. <laughs> then go to the other side and do the other four instead of one at a time, and boom. All right, let's get these things welded up. <laughs> I can only figure out one good camera setup for this, so. <laughs> I got my magnets set up, so I want to get this, you know, so I got plenty of room on both sides. Oh yeah, as long as I'm in, <laughs> that's right. I was thinking, man, I don't want to make it too small, but as long as I'm inside this plate or outside this plate, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> I swear, sometimes I do things real smart and sometimes I do them real dumb. <laughs> For some reason, there's no in between. <laughs> Let's make sure we turn the gas on this time. I gotta open the window too. I gotta put a fan on here and the windows open and all that, so uh whew, let's get to it. Gas is on, helmet is on. Man, you feel how cold it's getting in here? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I got my clamp coming up through the table, so let me just tack it. All right, I might have to bring this clamp over so I can move this plate around. Just for you guys and the damn camera. <laughs> There's a welding blanket under here, just for that reason. <laughs> Man, I can't see the first, the first touch. I have to put my helmet up and then touch it off and then go. This one start leaning. <laughs> I kinda wanna make this one lean out so it looks like I meant to do it. <laughs> All right. Let me get a mark on this. We'll make it look like we know what we're doing a little bit. Ah! Damn sparks down my shoes! <laughs> ah! I'm not wearing shoes anymore! <laughs> Damn it.
Damn it, it wasn't sticking. <laughs> oh man. Hey, that one almost looked like I knew what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, let me get a measurement here. Cut the other one. I'll be back. Okay. Okay, don't even breathe. <laughs> I guess just gotta get a tack. I gotta, uh, you know, one of these squares here. And then I'll have to get this side. I just wanna tack it one tack because it's really about to fall. If I didn't have to have so many lights on for this camera, one camera, this would uh, lighten up every time I stop. But since I got all these lights everywhere just for this camera, I gotta keep lifting this hood and all that. That's all right. You guys are worth it. I guess. <laughs> I just want it flush here. I'm not worried about how it's in there. That's more room for attack. <laughs> here we go. All right, looks like the angle grinder's next. <laughs> Turn off my gas. Unplug it. Whoa. Get a new battery for this camera because it's going low. <laughs> All right. Got a brand new disc, brand new battery. I'm not really worried about these outside welds. I got a clamp on it so it ain't going nowhere this way. <laughs> I just want to clean this up and uh, see how it looks. <laughs> it's a table! <laughs> Look at that, it's even kind of stable. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be clamped anyway, so. <clears throat> Alright, let's go get the jigsaw. <laughs> let's go get the jigsaw hooked up and see this catastrophe in action. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> How many of you saw me put the plate on the wrong side and didn't tell me? <laughs> no, I'm just doing it to make it even. <laughs> Which one do you want to believe? <laughs> oh, man. I went to set it up and I was like, wait a minute, why isn't this fitting? <laughs> All right, I'll meet you back at the bench. I got to Grind it out, no reason to show it again. Whew. I had to jump and set up the cameras. I got one screw in it. So hopefully, because I tried to do it like this, but it wouldn't work. So hopefully I can get this working. I was scared the clamp was gonna clamp it wrong. Ooh, that one grabbed too. Moment of truth. <laughs> Yeah, the reason the clamp was here, because I went to clamp it, but the thing was on the other side. <laughs> oh, man. Now let's see how hard it is going to be to put a blade in there. Ah, oh, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh, no, not at all. Good. Hey! <clears throat> all right, I think that's a wood blade in there. I don't know. Yeah, wood. A piece of wood? Here we go. A piece of wood. Now I get to make my bench all messy. <laughs> uh, let me lock this down. Then we'll plug it in. Here we go. It works! <laughs> it's a low! <laughs> Man, okay. Let's try it now that it's on the track. <laughs> oh, man.
Hey, what do you know? When you do it right, it works. <laughs> All right, boom. Now I can get back to the other build. <laughs> man, oh man. It's sturdy, but good Lord. <laughs> I should say it's ugly, but man, it's sturdy. <laughs> Just like me, right? <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think, because this is one for the books for sure. Yeah, I'm interested to see how it'll cut uh, G10 and carbon fiber. I'll probably have to use like a metal blade instead of the wood, but we got the different settings for wood and metal and all that, so hopefully it will save bandsaw blades, because man, I burn through them, you know, two or three packs a month. But anyway, I digress. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Go check out my website where I got shirts, I got knives, I got Amazon links, all that good stuff on there. Hope everyone's staying safe. It seems like everything's starting to open up a little bit, but this is time we got to be careful. Don't get overconfident and think just because they're opening everything up, we can let our guard down because uh, this is when it gets dangerous. All right, rant over. Hope everyone's doing good, and as always, Take it easy.